Hello everyone, welcome back to Lynn's Homestead. It's a day of a reckoning. I've been trying three days to get this concrete for it, but the weather has not been cooperating. Uh, still breezy. That will help with the evaporation of the concrete in the floor. So, I spent most of the morning getting everything out here, getting it prepped, make sure I have water, make sure the mixer is actually going to turn on, and setting these little tubes for the lag screws that's going to help to hold this thing down to the walls of the doghouse. So let me show you what i got going on the form, and uh, then I'll uh, come back when i got the concrete mixed and in the buckets. That way I won't bore you with that. So here we are. So, here we are. Um, these tubes here, you can see, those are for the lag screws to go down. I got um, everything set to where it needs to be. So now the only thing left to do is to mix the concrete, which I have over here. Got the buckets, got the concrete. So I'll get mixing and I'll be right back with it. All right, guys. Got my first batch of concrete made. Moment of truth. They always say proof's in the con in the pudding, but they don't say anything about concrete. You get my trowel. Try to spread this stuff in here. I never uh, made anything quite like this before. Everything on a homestead, homeowner, it's a learning curve. We want to make sure that tube stays upright. Oh, God. Get this one in place. Over here. Like I said, Make sure this thing is pointing up. Now, I used the hot glue gun to glue it to the plastic. For me, that was the easiest way to get it to stay and not get any cement in it, other than maybe dropping some through the top. So make sure this is uh, stay up and down. I don't think it'll hurt anything. A little bit more protein. Huh? Yeah. Alright, come back. I have some more concrete to put in here. Guys, this is not a rare occurrence. Seems like every time I do concrete in front of the house, I get a butterfly over here. Pretty edgy. Sometimes I wonder, it's just not a relative that might have been lived here. It's just checking up on me as an angel. I've been troweling right up against her. She doesn't really even move. But this is what I got going so far. I got one more bag I got to mix, but I want to make sure I have enough concrete. Okay, guys. Just have to uh, do some more troweling. We're going to call this a success. I 
You then have to uh, keep adjusting those tubes. Just like I say, they are going to, it's one way I'm going to mount this thing to the uh, walls is to um, run lags. I needed a way for the lag to get down to the wall. It's going to take, uh, well, depending on the humidity, it's going to take a little while for this to evaporate. Now, the wind's blowing pretty good, so that's going to be kind of like to my favor. hard. Uh, I tried to put that 2 by 4 on, at least give me a bit of a level. And I'm close. Because remember, my idea is to uh, on that side there is the front. You see the offset. I do plan on putting concrete blocks. There's going to be nine of them up there to raise that height up. And that's because um, to keep the dog in. Now, one thing that, you know, I still got, wait for this to cure before I can do my quarters. I want you to look at something. Now, he let me pick them up and move them over there because I was busy over in that corner. Isn't that something? Mother Nature letting you touch them. But anyways, that's it for uh, the roof pour. And uh, next up, I still got some preparation I gotta do. We're gonna be pouring the kennel footer. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit that bell icon so you can see what else is John doing? You have an awesome day. God bless.